In this video, we will introduce the exponential mechanism whose key property is to be differentially private. Suppose you want to set a price of a good based on data from a database. The trouble of the Laplace mechanism is that a small perturbation of the price could completely change the demand and thus the profit. Instead, the exponential mechanism allows to choose a differentially private outcome that will guarantee a good response for all perturbation of it. The key to do so is to first measure the quality of a response with a UTT function that depends on the queried database X. In other words, we consider a UTT function U that goes from the set of databases times the set of responses and that returns a real function, that is U computes a UTT U of X and R of a response R with respect to database X. We can retrieve the Laplace mechanism case by setting u of x and r to be minus the distance between r and the true response of x, the response that we would get in the Laplace mechanism if we did not add any noise. But the beauty of the exponential mechanism is that it allows to address the more sophisticated and less continuous UTT functions. And the key to that is to output an answer r for a database x with a probability that is exponentially large in the associated utility u of x and r, i.e. we're going to define the probability that m of x is equal to r to be equal to the exponential of alpha times u of x and r, so this is really exponential in the utility, and we have to renormalize it, that is we're going to divide by the sum for all possible answers s of the exponential of alpha times the utt for answer s. But don't overthink the denominator here, it is just a normalizing factor so that probabilities add up to 1. Now in this expression we have a parameter alpha. This parameter represents the privacy versus accuracy trade-off. More explicitly, let's define delta u to be the maximum of differences of utilities between neighbor databases x and y. And we also demand that this hold for all possible responses r. Then we have the following theorem. The exponential mechanism with alpha equals to epsilon divided by 2 delta u, i.e. such that the probability that m of x is equal to r is proportional to the exponential of epsilon times u of x and r divided by 2 delta u is epsilon differentially private. Its utility will then typically be of the order u of x and m of x, about the optimal utility, that is the maximum of all possible responses r star of u of x and r star minus a small loss which is going to be of the order delta u divided by epsilon times the logarithm of the number of possible responses. There is a more formal version of this approximation that you can find in the book by Dwork and Roth on differential privacy and which says that our second term here is roughly a standard deviation of the utilities you get and that large deviations are exponentially rare but this is beyond the scope of this video. Importantly, achieving epsilon differential privacy has a cost on utility which is of the order of delta u times the logarithm of the number of possible responses divided by epsilon.